Hey, glad you could join us. We actually have gotten a lot of questions. One thing that we like to do in our family is make pumpkin juice that tastes similar to what they have um, at uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Universal Orlando. It's actually a recipe that our family came up with. We like to have it at Thanksgiving and Christmas and special occasions. So here's kind of what you're gonna need to, to make this along with us. Uh, first off, we have, uh, of course, pumpkin, and this is just 100% pure pumpkin. This is actually a can that's a, a 29 ounce can, and I'll use two of these cans in the recipe. We have uh, light apricot halves, and we use this, the light kind, because it's in its own juice, so we try to avoid all the sugars and stuff, refined sugars if we, have, if we can. Uh, this can is 15 ounces, and you're gonna need four of these cans. The other thing that you're gonna need is uh, four cans of 100% apple juice concentrate. And we're gonna use that in there. So let's go ahead, uh, before I get into the other ingredients, we're gonna deal with these first. And what I'm gonna have, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this can of apricots and we're gonna blend it up and make it into a puree. But while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and have Matthew over here open up this can of apple juice and have it waiting for us. So Matthew, if you open that up, and I'm going to open the can of apricot halves up. And we're gonna get it into the blender here. There we go. As you can see, it's quite a bit of apricot halves in there. And we're gonna get the lid securely on. And hit my power on. And let's go ahead and blend that up. And we're just gonna keep blending it until it makes a nice puree. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't take that long. It's actually gotten it pretty quickly right now. So that's about done right there. And you can get it to what consistency you want it to be. Um, it's kind of your own taste and what's your own. Maybe you have, uh, if you do have foster and adoptive kids like we're talking to on the blog, uh, they might have texture issues, so you might want to get it at a right consistency for them. But anyways, I'm going to pour, come over here, and we have a stock pot, and I've already put one can of pumpkin in there. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this off the blender. We're going to open this up. We're going to pour that in there, and I'm going to ask Matthew to go ahead and put the apple juice in there. We have one can of apple juice in there already, and we're going to put the other one in there. And set that aside. Okay, so now we have four cans of apricot. We have two or four cans of apple juice concentrate in there. And I'm gonna put our last bit of pumpkin in there. And we are going to get ready. And after that, we're gonna get it stirred up. And right now, it uh, just has a consistency and just a, a texture. It's just kind of big glop and goo in there, and it's just really, uh, it just looks liquidy, actually. But, so we have everything mixed up, and I, I think uh, someone just pointed out to me, I said two cans of apple, ju apple juice concentrate at the beginning. It's four cans of apple juice concentrate, four cans of apricot halves that we pureed, and then we also have the pumpkin, the two cans of pumpkin that we put in there. And I'm going to have Matthew finish mixing that up a little bit so that we can go over here and talk a little bit about spices that we're using. Um, so basically the spices, kind of the, the taste for our family, uh, when we first had pumpkin juice, it tasted kind of like a pumpkin pie, the, the, just that burst of spices and flavor in your mouth that it had. So we're going to use some nutmeg in it. Uh, we're also gonna put some allspice in there, uh, some ginger. And then the last thing that we're gonna put in there, of course, is ground cinnamon. And this is gonna be something, I don't have measurements for this because it's kind of what your own taste is. I know that I, uh, my father can't have nutmeg, so we'll make a different batch for him if he's over and he's having it with us. So you're really just gonna add these and make it suit your taste going the whole way. All right, so like I said, we're gonna add some cinnamon in there and then put our ginger in there. We're gonna add our allspice and our nutmeg. Like I said, I don't have any measurements for these. Oh wow, it smells really good though. And like I said, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stir everything up. 
you get it good and mixed. And after I get it good and mixed, what I'm gonna do is actually taste a little bit and see if I have something too strong or if it needs a little bit. Some, so it's kind of, it is a little experimentation kind of going through what you want it to be. Okay, so we've gotten all of our ingredients added. Uh, I've actually, while we did that camera changeover, uh, I, I tasted everything and it tasted the way that we usually have it. And it really smells good. It smells like, it smells like, I don't know, uh, like a little bit of pumpkin pie. So you can kind of see when you make it why you'd want to have it during Thanksgiving or something. It just kind of really complements a lot of the foods around fall time. Um, one thing that we noticed in, uh, when we had pumpkin juice in the Wizarding World, it was that it, it just really was, uh, I don't know if I want to say thick or heavy. Um, it could have been watered down a little bit more just for our family's taste. And we need to add water to it anyways. So we usually, this is another thing, just add as much water um, as you want to and just kind of go and see what kind of consistency and flavor you want. But we usually, like I said, add quite a bit of water just because we liked it a little bit more run down um, than what we had at the Wizarding World. But um, again, just add the water and you're going to uh, mix it up and pour it into some pitchers and you're gonna have pumpkin juice. And one thing I do wanna point out is that we didn't add any sugar to this. So all of the sugars uh, come naturally. It's still a really nice, uh, not a super sweet drink, but it still tastes really good. Our kids have no problem drinking it and they want seconds and thirds and fourths and they love it every time I make it. They love that I'm making this video because they get pumpkin juice. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment or uh, go visit our blog and uh, write comments and follow our blogs there at www.transfiguringadoption.com. Thanks. Get social with us on social media at Transfigure Adopt, capital T, capital A. Again, we'd love for you to subscribe to our blog and follow our antics and conversations there.